हेलो एंड वेलकम टू यू इन द इम्बेडेड सिस्टम प्रोग्राम कोर्स दिस इज लक्ष्मी इन टूडेज लेसन वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट दर्टी टू बी डिविजन इन असेंबली द इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग इज दैट यू कैन सिमुलेट दिस डिविजन इन दिल विदाउट एनी इम्बेडेड हार्डवेयर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द के I have already written this project. Okay, so open this one division program. What I have written here, as I have already explained in my previous lectures, the PTL defines the title of your program, and I am exporting the main from the startup file, and here is the area, is the program code, and that is the only the read only, and here entry. it marks the first instruction to be executed in your code okay so first of all i have declared the divider and the divider in the literal pool number 1 as a 10 and number 2 as a 3 okay and these numbers are in the hexadecimal value so our result will be the quotients will be the 5 and the remainder will be the 1 okay we will verify this in the debug mode without any embedded hardware okay so what you need to setting here click on the target option and in the debug menu click on the use simulator and then click on the okay and we also need to change in the startup file so the click on the startup okay and uh, please don't initialize this system initialization so this and this branch instruction with the link make this one as a comment okay now everything has been done here now save this one and then come to this file and uh, rebuild this file okay zero error and the zero warning so let's start with the debug mode okay click on the okay so it is running in the debug mode with the entry it marks the first in instruction which is going to be the execute okay so here first of all that i am loading the address of the number 1 in the r4 and then i am loading that number in the r0 okay from the address defined in the register r4 so verify this one first i am loading this r4 address that is the 411 defined you can check that r4 here with the r4 r you can define here 411 okay Four one one is defined. Sorry, it is actually the R four. So R four is a four two C. So not coming. I have to define a whole instruction zero x and here five times zero one two three four five. Okay, so you can see here it is a one zero. So the next is it will load a uh, uh, r0 from the address of r4 you can check here yes r0 has been loaded as the 10 here it will load the divider address in the r1 and then final divider will be loaded in the r1 okay and here you can check here r1 is loaded with the r3 and here is the r3 it will check whether your uh, divider is zero or not okay so you can check here it is checking here divider is zero or not and if divider is zero means the divider division will uh, give the infinite so we have to uh, jump from here divider is not zero so we will execute these instructions okay check compare okay and then here it is comparing here r0 and the r1 means that it is comparing r0 that is the dividend with the dividend is less than divider or not and at the point when dividend will be the less than at the divider then we will complete here means that it will jump from uh, here to to here done okay so let's check okay now do you yes it has been Uh, subtracted one time so the your quotient has been become to one here and let's check again one more time okay the quotient has become two and again quotient has become three 
it will execute five times in a loop you can check here yes after the five time execution you know the one zero means the 16 divided by three means that it will produce a uh, five quotients and the one reminder and the reminder will be stored in the r0 and the quotient will be stored in the r3 so here the your dividend has been become the one that's mean it has been become to less than the divider so you can check here now it is less than divider so the it will jump to the done okay so it has been completed here you can check and uh, the main point in this uh, uh, program is you can implement or uh, book check your assembly or the C program in the KL with the simulation mode even if you don't have any embedded board. Thank you so much. I am going to stop this tutorial here and if you want to more video tutorial uh, please subscribe my channel and if you have any technical doubt please comment below. Thank you so much.